Hello, time here. Let's make some clothes for our animated character. Yep, 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 we'll make our shirt and trousers from the body of our character. This will give us the advantage of beginning with the shape of the body. If we haven't already, click the bunny to show all the cages. To ensure all the patches border at this cut-off line, click the knife and cut around the neck before deleting the head patches. Delete the hands and feet like we did for the head. Rename the first part node in the scene tree to Trousers and then save the file as Trousers. Because we're now working on the shirt, rename the first part node in the scene tree to Shirt. Now make a cut here and delete all the patches below the cut. Select the two last rings and scale them up a bit. And scale up the sleeve and neck rings in a similar fashion. Save the file as shirt and close down seamless. Reopen the trousers file. Make a cut here and delete all the patches above the cut. Flare out the ends of the trousers. Save the file and close down seamless. Now we want to open the original file again and delete all the patches leaving the head, hands and feet. Cut here here and here before deleting the patches. It's important that we import the shirt and trousers while we're in modeling mode so that we import the patches into our model, not as a reference to a model. To import, select Import Patches from the File menu. If the trousers and or the shirt are not imported to the correct positions, Click this button to reset the transform fields for the selected points. To make it easier to see which patches are the shoes, trousers, shirt or head, let's paint them different colours using the fill tool. This can all be done in paint mode, except we need to switch into modelling mode to modify the colour sweeps for the eye sockets. To update the colour sweeps, select a point belonging to an eye socket, open the selected patches colour sweep panel and click on the most outer colour point and then set the colour from the palette. Press Ctrl J to join the eye socket vertices back to the head. To get back to the patch control points, we need to close down the colour sweep panel, which can be done like I am here by clicking the modelling mode button. To see only the control cages for the shirt, select one of the shirt points and click the rabbit in the grey hat. Let's lower the shirt's neckline at the front. To make it easier to animate, we want plenty of distance between the shirt and the skin where they overlap, otherwise we'll likely see skin appearing where it shouldn't. When we've got these two rings to our liking, insert another control ring here to get a sharper angle. This creates a nice looking, thick edge for the material in our shirt. We can continue to modify the neckline, but this is easier to do when we have only two rings. Now let's do something similar for the sleeves. 
Insert a ring so we have two rings very close to each other at the ends of the sleeves. Then scale the last ring smaller and then insert two more rings, one here and one here. Select the last ring and drag it in. and scale it smaller. Now let's thicken the edge for the lower part of the shirt. Because it can be challenging to animate a shirt that comes this close to the pelvis bone, let's raise the lower ring in our shirt. Showing the skeleton can help in guiding us. Let's make it super easy to animate by making our shirt end at the tummy zero bone. We only need to insert one ring. There, that looks good. Seeing where the ankles are, there's plenty of room to lower the trouser ends. How much you flare the trousers out is a matter of taste. Much the same as for the shirt sleeves. Insert a ring close to the last ring. Scale the last ring smaller. Insert another ring here. And drag the last ring up. and insert one last ring here. Before we can animate our character, we must reapply ownership to all the patches. With some of the control points in our big feet overlapping each other, it's essential we hide the patches in one of them to apply the ownership. It's a bit more complex at the neck area compared to before, now we have a shirt with a neckline to deal with. Let's first hide the shirt cage so we only apply ownership to the neck. Now let's show only the shirt cage so we apply ownership only to the shirt. I don't want the neckline of the shirt to look like it's part of the neck, so I'm applying weights and ownership differently for the shirt's neckline to make it animate somewhat independently from the neck. To do this, I'm applying the thorax one bone with a weight set to half the amount for these points and applying the collar bone with a weight set to half the amount for these points. I'm happy with how this looks, but this was found through experimentation, so feel free to experiment further, especially if your character has specific needs, but avoid getting overly perfectionistic if this spoils your fun animating your character.